All right. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone on the replay. When you are watching the replay, just go ahead and let me know. Do you hashtag replay? So excited to see you here. And I want to just jump in. Today, we are, we are diving into behind the scenes of a million dollar marriage. Now, I wanted to share this because I have worked with coaches. I love celebrities. I love people that inspire me. I like knowing what's behind the curtain, you know, the like behind Wizard of Oz. And I remember working with a coach and she had this close mastermind that was five weeks, $5,000. And I was like, I've got to get in here because I just want to know more about her. I want to hear her stories. I want to connect with that version and, he, and see behind the scenes of the perfect curated brand, right? I want to know the embodiment work behind what the person was teaching, what their values were. So I thought, you know, it would be amazing. I share in my paid containers a lot, my journey and what I'm going through and what I'm up leveling through now, because there's always a journey. You know, I'm, I'm now moving to the billion dollar marriage. So on my journey, it is so powerful to hear stories of others, share stories of mine, to be able to connect and really understand and see people in the non-perfect state. So I want to start off with, you know, what is a million dollar marriage? I would love for you, whether you're watching live or on the replay, share with me, like, have you thought about if you had the million dollar marriage, what would it look like? And the amazing thing is, is it's different for everyone. Some people can picture, you know, traveling all over the place and having this incredible life with a person and doing beautiful new experiences and jumping out of a plane. And others are would, would love to do local things and go to the farmer's market and, you know, really be connected and rooted in the neighborhood, you know, and in their community, right? It's so powerful for us to start getting connected to what our vision is of a million dollar marriage. How do we want to be? How do we want to interact? What do we see ourselves doing with the part with, with our partners? How do we want to feel? How do we want to feel? What do we want to experience? What values will, will, would we be experiencing if we had this million dollar marriage with our partner? So as I was creating it, it was fantastic. It's one of the tools that we use in the Embody and Amplified method. And this tool is called the future success tool. So we cast a manifesto and a vision bigger than life, right? So for mine, it was, we are connected. We have so much fun together. We're able to parent well together. We have fun. We've got similar, um, similar likes and similar interests. And we're able to do things together and hang out as friends and watch football and go play pickleball and golf as well as have this beautiful, fiery passion and connection. And it feels like every single time we make love, it's just amazing and potent. And I wanted it all. I wanted the security of a relationship, a security of a partner that I could trust deeply, that that's got me, that, that I've got them, the secure attachment. And I also wanted the excitement, the passion, like, let me know if any of you have watched Sex Life on Netflix. If not, it's really good. And I, I may start doing some episodes on some of the shows that I'm watching because it's so powerful and potent. So in the sex life, it's this woman and she's got like the safety of this relationship, but she can't stop thinking about her ex. And as she's thinking about her ex, she gets all hot and heavy and she's kind of questioning, can you have it all? You know, she had an attractive husband lived in the suburbs, had two kids, had the life she always thought, but she was missing that passion. And as I was watching this, I was like, wait, why do you have to choose? You can have it all if you create it. So the first step in it is creating a huge uh, a manifesto. So the way that mine goes is when we make love, it is incredible. He gives me a full body massage. He gets into all of my muscles. He rubs my hips and in the perfect way. And, and I'm actually healing as we're making love. He's kissing my toes. Just heard a big noise. And it is so hot. 
in our bedroom, he already had the music on and he had candles lit and he's taking his time and getting into every single muscle as he's kissing me all over. When he turns me over, he starts kissing my neck and my stomach as he's rubbing into me, as he's pouring into me. And as he goes down on me, it is absolutely incredible. He's all about serving me. And as I got deeper into, you know, the, the, the elements that were really important to me, and one of my biggest values is passion, right? Passion and freedom, abundance. Those are the ones that are so important. I was infusing this into my manifesto, and that's what I've created. Our sex life, I was on, um, I was a guest expert for a mastermind for men. The first time ever I, I was speaking to um, a room of men that I didn't know. And it was incredible. We were able to dive deep into pleasure and sex and consent and permission. And I've created that in my marriage and started with my manifesto. Now, I will say that is it always like that? Is it always like we're on the same page and we're doing things together and we're having fun and we're laughing and we're kissing in the kitchen and we're flirting and, and we just have this concern and we do things for each other out of desire instead of obligation, right? I had all of these things and I don't feel like it's, do I have that or not? It's not like a yes or no, like are the lights on or off, right? It's not like black and white. It's when we have this manifesto that, that, that we create in the EA method, I challenge you, I push you to go bigger and I share with you mine so you expand into possibility and see what's there for you. And then that is the guideline, right? That is the, the, the shooting target. And as we get closer and closer to it and we're able to achieve that on a regular basis, you know, maybe in the beginning, it's just on vacation, you know, that happens or special events or hotel sex. Um, that's great. How can we create that and infuse that more and more into our life? And when we're able to infuse it more and more into our life, it becomes more of our reality. And then once we're experiencing that on a regular basis, we create another manifesto, right? So let me know if this is landing. Oh, these glasses are kind of hurting my ears. Does that ever happen to you? Do you have glasses? And after a while, it kind of hurts like your, your ears. So that has been incredible. And I've been able to experience things in my marriage that I didn't think was possible. I didn't think it was possible being married 11 years, being together for 15 years, and now, uh, and knowing him for over 25 years, I have been able to have this level of passion and connection and fun in the bedroom, have him all over me. You know, when I'm the largest I've ever weighed, the oldest I've ever been is incredible. But also in the million dollar marriage is there shit that happens, right? It's not always like Disney says, it's not happily ever after, right? It's great when we, you know, are find someone and we want to like spend our lives with them and we make a commitment to each other. That's amazing and great, but that's just the first chapter. Happily ever after isn't given to you with the certificate, with the vows, with the commitment. It's a daily practice. So something that happens, so here's the behind the scenes moment, even deeper in a different way. Uh, uh, two weeks ago, I want to say our home almost flooded. So I am in the downstairs area of our home. It's like downstairs and it's lower than the main level. The main level is upstairs where we have, you know, our kitchen, family room, front door, bedrooms. And then down here, is all extra. This home used to be built on, on, on like stilts, right? And then the owners before us excavated it all and built all this lower level. Super cool. And so in here, this was an unfinished room. So when we came and we moved in, we finished this off and created an office. So in those doors right there, there's a water heater. And then it's just the outside of our house. So a few weeks ago, um, my husband behind this, this wall is our master bathroom. So my husband went to the bathroom and all of a sudden, like there's like water by the toilet. He's like, what's going on? He's like, did Gigi pee in here? And he's like, oh my gosh, no, the water heater was leaking. 
So long story short, we tried to figure out what was going on and it was leaks from the huge LA downpours we've had, which we've never had ever. The amount of rain um, was leaking into our house. So my husband was trying to fix it. He thought he did. It made it worse. And it was literally our home almost flooded. It was the most scary thing I've ever experienced besides this heart surgery. Um, and it was just coming in. It was gushing in. So we had buckets here. We had, we finally had a wet back. And the night where it started, he thought that he did some patchwork. He thought it was working, but it was actually worse. And the rain was worse. There is a point where he had, he was wringing out with the mop mopping it all up so it doesn't overflow into our house, squeezing it into a bucket. When the bucket would fill up, he'd take the bucket, walk it all the way downstairs through our French doors, down the, the steps of our deck and dump it. And at three, four in the morning, it was happening so fast that we had to put a timer on for every 10 minutes for him to wake up, empty the wet back. We got a wet back, thank God. And empty it. Otherwise, our home would have flooded. And we calculated how many gallons of water would have come through our home. And it's probably between 125 and 150 gallons of water. So during this time, it was so stressful. It was like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? And I have a shoulder injury from my accident in December. So I'm not able to help out as much. We don't know when, when, when the rain's going to stop. The rain stopped and the water kept on coming in. We didn't know where it was coming from. It was so stressful. And so my husband asked uh, me and my daughter to go outside with a flashlight and see if we could see anything happening, right? So it was downpouring. It was where we we're trying to see something. We couldn't see anything. And in the meantime, my husband's on the side and he's screaming my name because he's got to empty out the water, but I've got to start mopping so it doesn't overflow. We don't hear him. This is raining and it's loud. And so as we come through the, the, the French doors right there where the, the, that window is, there's French doors next to it. We came in and my husband was so stressed. He's like, where are you? What are you doing? I don't even know what he said because I was so triggered by his voice, by his tone, by his energy, because it reminded me of my, my past. And so as he would said, uh, like, as he was saying this, I was triggered and I felt it in my body and I was about to boom, react to him and tell him I've been doing this and blah, blah, blah. But in that moment, it was like the Jedi moment, the moment in matrix where like time stops. I realized in that moment that that trigger wasn't from him. It was a trigger from my childhood and I decided not to react to it. I took note and I said, okay, you know, I know that this is from my childhood. When I have time later, I will process it. But then I was able to get present. I was able to support him. I was able to understand how he felt and why he was, you know, feeling this way and, and his stress levels and, it and how it had nothing to do with me. And I was able to respond differently. I was able to wipe off my shoes, run into the house, come in here, help him, support him, make him food turn on the alarm, rub his back, do whatever I needed to do, whatever I could do to support my husband as he was saving our house. This traumatic event, we talked about the next day in the hot tub. We're like, this was a traumatic event. And it was like, I don't even know how he did it. He turned off his emotions. He woke up every 10 minutes. He'd get out of bed, dump the water, come back, start up the wet jack, the, the wet back again. And until 7 p.m., to 7 a.m. The, the next morning. I don't know how he did it, but instead of me being triggered by him, instead of me needing an apology from him, instead of me allowing my emotions to hijack the vision, the manifesto I created for my marriage, I was able to get back into my power. And it's because of the work, right? So let me know if you've had situations like that where you've got really good times in your relationship or your long-term relationship or your marriage or your previous relationship, wherever you are in your journey. If you have these great moments where it's like you have a weekend away or you do this thing and you have like good things happening, but then on a regular basis, like, like there, there's a tit for tat energy or there's an energy that is like, oh, why, um, 
like the passion's gone or the energy of, you know, he says something and then you say something, you react to him. And it's just kind of like this weird wonky energy, right? Or strangers passing through the night or it's fine. You know, I think those are the Mel, um, Mel Robbins talks about this and the four, the four letter F word that is like so toxic to our environment is fine. Like, how are you? I'm fine. Do you want your marriage to be fine? Do you want your relationship to be fine? The one that you are committed to for the rest of your life? Fine was how my first marriage was. I'm like, it's fine. You know, it's better than what I've seen. It's better than my parents. It's better than... Um, you know, it's, it's normal. Like he doesn't, and it was kind of like, he doesn't cheat on me. He doesn't hit me. He doesn't beat me. Um, he's a nice person. You know, I trust him. Right. So like all good markers, but that was a fun there was a passion. There was the like connection there. Did I want to hang out with him? It was just like, no, it was fine. I could do life with him until I couldn't. So in our relationships, to create the million dollar marriage, there is a specific framework. So let me know, like drop, um, drop framework. If you want to know what the framework is to be able to create a million dollar marriage on your own terms, on what that means for you without waiting for your partner to change. I think for so many years, this is, I was married the first time for three, four years. I should know that. And, um, yeah, like three, four years. And I've been married in my second marriage for 11. It's a long time. Hmm. I'm testing out turmeric lattes and I'm making them myself. And this one's pretty good. So in these, in, in these situations, you know, for a marriage, I was waiting for my partner to change. I was like, well, I'm doing the work. I'm doing the personal work. I'm reading the books. I'm going to therapy. I'm doing all this stuff. I've done the work. And I know that if we say that we've done the work and we haven't gotten results yet, we haven't done the work. We haven't done the right work. And I'm at this point in my life right now at 45, I'm going to be 46 this year. Is I'm okay with doing the work for the rest of my life because I have a method. I have tools to take me through it. And every single time I do it, my life changes for the better. I don't get triggered as much. I, it's easier for me to get into the vortex of my desires. I'm more magnetic. I'm happier when I do this work and it takes less than 10 minutes. So when we have a toolbox and we have a framework of doing that, it makes it easy. And then when we have the evidence in our lives and seeing what's happening with other people doing the same work, it's like, okay, no, absolutely. I'll do it. Absolutely. You know, I'll try it and then you'll get your own evidence. And then it's just like, yeah, why wouldn't I do it? Right? Like, I know this works. I know this workout works. Why would I stop doing it? I know that, you know, these supplements are really good for me and I'm getting results from it. It gives us the proof and the motivation to keep on going. So the framework without further ado is three steps. And then there's a step after. So In the steps, what happened in that situation with with my husband, step number one is awareness, right? As soon as he said that, and as soon as um, I started feeling my body, right? I was aware that my body clenched up. It was tight. I felt tight in my throat. I felt tight in my heart and in my stomach. I just felt this tightness and this constriction, like, right? Like clenched. It's not safe. I'm preparing myself. And as soon as I recognize that, then you have choice. Awareness is the first step of the catalyst, is the catalyst for transformation, is the catalyst. Because then you're aware, and then I can make that choice to be like, oh, hold on. I'm seeing that my body's feeling this way. I'm reacting to this. I'm feeling a certain way. How do I want to respond? So that gives the awareness gives us space to respond instead of immediately have our patterns overtaken. And my pattern was my pattern of protection. When we're triggered, we want to be protected, right? When we have an exposed wound, what do we do? We protect it. We make sure it's safe, you know, so it can heal. So when the trigger happens, it's like, we want to protect it. So our, my pattern of protection was getting on the offense, um, being defensive, hurting them as much as they've hurt, hurt me, hold a grudge. Like I know with my husband, he, I mean, I'm a Scorpio, 
Okay. So um, I've done a lot of shitty, crappy things from a place of wounding. Um, I would know the things that he loved the most. He loved attention. He loved um, touch, right? He loved connection. And I would completely disconnect because I know that's what he, that, that would hurt him. And I needed to hurt the person that hurt me more. So how did that come out? Saying really nasty things, withholding affection, passive aggressiveness. Are you like, what, like what's wrong? Nothing. How are you? Fine. Right. But with that attitude, holding grudges. Right. And that's what I learned. Right. It was my pattern of safety. But in that moment, with the awareness, I could make the decision to say, am I going to go into that pattern or do I decide to do something new? Do I decide to say, oh, wait a second. I'm realizing that I'm being really, really triggered by something. Hold on. Is this from my past? Yes. Okay. What's going on right now? Right now we're going through a really fucking stressful situation. We may lose our house. So what choice do I want to make? And when I make that choice, I can make it from a place of my wounding or I can make it from a place of that manifesto that I spoke of earlier on how I want to feel, how I want our relationship to be, how connected we want, how, that, that I want. And me being the leader in that, I get to change how I react to him. And instead of reacting from my wounds, I'm re responding from my high level vision for our marriage, from my values and from my grace. And then the next day I was able to have a conversation with him and let him know I'm so proud of how I showed up differently. And this is how I felt about it without needing an apology because the next day when I had space and everything was like, okay and calm, I was able to regulate myself by using the energy expansion tool, which is in the EA method. And then I went through the butterfly tool to, to, to heal that core wound experience that was triggered that created that reaction and that closeness in my body. And so I could go and heal that core wound experience that was ready to be shown to me. And then from that place, I didn't need my husband to apologize to me. I didn't need it, me to be like, well, I did this and I did that. And you acted, acted this way and you yelled at me. You gave me attitude in front of our daughter. Like that's who I used to be. But now it was just like, oh no, I totally get it. It was a very stressful situation and I was able to appreciate him and have gratitude for him and everything that he did. And then also be able to say from a place of safety that here's how I felt, you know, and here's how I led myself through it. And as I was able to explain to him without any expectations of an apology, he apologized immediately. And he's like, I'm so sorry. It was just so stressful. And I didn't mean it that way, but I didn't need, I received it with love, but I didn't need it. And that is the power of having these steps, right? The first one is the awareness, right? Once we have the awareness as a catalyst of choice, because then we're like, oh, hold on, we pause. And then we can either react from our, our, our patterns of protection, or we get to respond with vision. And then it's about radical responsibility, right? And what is radical responsibility? It is owning our emotions, owning what's coming up. So for my radical responsibility was the next day before I, like when I had a moment, I spent 10 minutes to work myself through that. And then I actually use, and then I was about to go live and share my experience because it's what I do. I do behind the scenes in my paid containers and my paid programs like EA. As I was about to share that, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to use a tool because I was getting so emotional about it. And so I use a fear release tool. And then from there, I was able to show up in my power. That's the radical responsibility, right? And then it's the emotional mastery. So it's the trifecta of the awareness. So then you can take responsibility for whatever choice you make. There's sometimes, yesterday I chose to be a bitch. Yesterday was not feeling well, chose to be a bitch. And I was just kind of in this meh mood all day. I chose it, right? But before it would just be like based on my patterns. But now it's so powerful that I get to choose how I'm going to show up. And then it's having the emotional mastery, having a method, having a toolkit that when you want to take that radical responsibility for your actions, for your emotions, for your patterns, for your wounds, for your trauma, for your triggers, you have 
a simple way to take you through it. So it's not like, oh, fill out this worksheet or go read this book or or go, go wait and talk to your coach or your therapist about it or repress it. It's fine. You know, we got over it when, when that just bottles it up and it doesn't help. So in those places, that's when we become the leader of our marriage, the leader of the experience that we want. Oh, that's my husband calling me. I'll call him back. And that's what we do in the EA method. In the EA method, we have eight emotional mastery tools that you learn over a three-month period. And as you learn these, you'll start practicing them and they take less than 10 minutes to do. Well, triggers will start happening. Things will start going on. Whether you, you, you're feeling anxiety over having a conversation, you feel um, a little like you're not excited about your relationship right? You want to get into the vortex of the vision that you've created. You realize that you have a pattern that's happening and you're ready to shift it. You realize that, that you're triggered and it's triggered by a trap past um, experience and you want to heal it the quickest way possible without re-traumatization because you know that that's the way. You know that healing is the shortcut right? This is why I created eight different tools to handle any situation that comes up, whether it's like, I want clarity. I don't know which, which way to go. You know, for me, I was a queen of indecisiveness and I was sitting on the fence for so long. I'm surprised my pussy wasn't severely injured. Well, now I use a clarity activation tool. If I'm ever trying to make a decision, right? If I'm trying to tap into like, what is that next step for me? It's using the inner wisdom tool. So I've curated and we've tested these eight tools with hundreds of clients. I have a certification program. So every woman in the certification program has to have a hundred sessions with clients. And through this work, it has been so powerful to be able to lead ourselves. So, you know, therapy is great. I've been through in therapy, like on and off my entire life. I know it's great to have a place to process things and have a safe place, And I learned about my past, but I didn't have any methods when I was triggered, when things happen, how to process it, how to do the work in between the sessions. And I felt like it was like, great, I know a lot about this, but like, I want help moving forward. And that's why I developed the EA method. In the container, there's hot seat coaching that happens three times a month. It's a VA and it's going to be a VIP option soon as spots continue to be taken up in EA. And in the hot seat coaching, you come with your triggers. You come with whatever is happening so we can work through it the simplest way possible. Being able to be in a container of women that have the same aspirations, the same desires, the same long-term vision as you do is incredible. Being able to have the sacred sisterhood where you can share what's going on and tell the things that you wouldn't even tell your best friend without being, feeling judged and be, being able to not just like complain about it, but being able to get healing and processing from it so you can clear it, it's everything. And one thing that I started doing that is incredible to, to is that whenever anyone's triggered, I have a, a thread in the group to say, you're triggered, share with me as much details as you feel comfortable with. And I'm going to do a custom EA flow for you using one of the tools. So we already have so many scripts that are like less than 10 minutes that are flows that you just listen to. I don't feel good enough. Um, I um, Jealousy, comparison, sister wounds. There's so many different flows to walk through. So then you don't have to do it on your own. And with the tools, the tools are literally videos that I walk you through. So as soon as you realize, okay, you can come into the group and you can say, Andrani, this is what happened. I don't know what tool to use. I just tag you on the video. That's less than 10 minutes and you walk through the tool. So the support, what I love about EA so much, it's what I wanted in coaching containers. And it's the customized support without paying the one-on-one prices. Right now, my one-on-one is 55555 a month. And the EA program is a fraction of that, right? So you, but you still have the customized approach. You have the hot seat coaching. You get to go into the Facebook group and ask questions and and, um, myself or the EA certified coach will answer it within 48 hours during the week. 
usually it's sooner than that. You can go ahead and share something that triggered you. Like I had a client that was like, oh my gosh, you know what? Um, I'm going on a date night, you know, and it always ends this way. You know, I am really triggered by it. And so I walked her through a process and then she came in and she's like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. The date that, that we had was amazing. We have women talking about their infidelities in their marriage. They have, we have women in there that wanted a, a raise. So for the first time ever, she decided, she set up a meeting. She walked into the room and she asked for a raise for double her salary. They said yes. And it was effective in the next paycheck. It's like, it's amazing because you can get support around anything. I have a client that really is working on her relationship with her children. And so she's like leading herself and she's developing this emotional mastery so then she can hold a space for her children in the most incredible way without losing herself. She's here to break the patterns that she's had as a woman of color and with parents that were very traditional and strict. She's healing the perfectionism. And that's the work that we do. It's so amazing to have a community of like-minded women that are ambitious, that are ready to do the work, right? But in the simplest way possible, I'm not here to make it hard. I'm here to do it the simplest way possible. And that's what we created from EA. So again, as you're going through this, you know, as you see yourself in that moment of like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is exactly what I wanted in my relationship, right? If you choose, let me know if you choose to create a vision for your relationship. If so, uh, write down vision. I love using that tool in, um, in, in my practice. And I love using it in my life, the future success tool, which creates a juicier than life vision that you're excited about that gives you that body, like that yummy, excited feeling and gets you excited about your marriage is incredible, right? And so when you have that, then it's about making sure that you're honoring the times where you're creating that in your relationship. And then also being aware of those times where shit happens, those times where there's stress or um, different opinions or things are happening or triggers. How are we doing that work to lead ourselves? So again, it comes with awareness. You want to be aware of your body and how you're feeling and, and before you, you respond then it's having the radical responsibility to own what's going on, own your feelings, own your triggers. Somebody, I think it was Eleanor Roosevelt, I may be wrong, said, no one has the control over your feelings unless you give it to them, right? So that's where the radical responsibility and the emotional mastery comes in. And when we're able to do that, we show up differently. We are living in our values. We are doing the work. We're clearing out all that wrap the thoughts, the beliefs, the, 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 the triggers, the negative emotions. We're working through that on a regular basis. I literally use the tools every day. And as we do that, we're cleansing ourselves. So then we can be in the vibration of our desires. We can be living in our values. We can be that version of us that is the most healed. So we can live in alignment with our values. We can um, serve from a place of overflow right? Because we're not sitting with our wounds. We're not sitting in resentment. We're not living in frustration. We're moving that energy. And then that after you have this, then it's the win-win communication, right? That, that we get to have with our partners from a place of heal, healed instead of from a place of fix me. And that changes everything. Our partner no longer feels the struggle of, or, or that the weight of making us happy or having us feel good enough, or making sure that we that, that that they still find us attractive, we don't need that anymore. We're validating ourselves by doing this work. And as we do that, we validate those core wounds that we have. Like, I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. It's not easy for me. I have to work hard. I don't belong, right? We carry these wounds with us. But when we're able to process through them, we're not bringing them to the relationship, and we're not bringing them with and having our partner subconsciously be responsible to help us with this or walk on eggshells because of our triggers and our trauma. And when we show up from that energy, it is so fucking magnetic. It is really incredible. Okay, um, I'm just gonna check my daughter's texting me. Um, 
So that is the the Embodied and Amplified program. I love it so much. It's a leadership mastery program. I let people know that if you already, if you're like, you've already had success in areas of your life and you're the person that knows that healing is a shortcut and you're ready to do it and you're ready to do it in a safe space and be heard and take up space and work on the things, the triggers and the beliefs and create something different in your life. If you are, you're ready to be the leader of your relationship, the leader of your life, right? Cause this is, this isn't just for relationships. It's for every freaking area of our life. Cause when we change our relationship to everything changes, right? So if you're ready to do that, if you're excited to, to start doing this work, if you feel a little bit nervous about it, this is a space. The vulnerabilities that the women share is incredible. I share my own, um, situations. And I do every week, I do at least three to five custom EA flows based on what's coming up. So whether it's in my life or whether it's you're posting in the group and saying, hey, here's what's going on. I have this trigger. Then I will go ahead and process it and create a custom flow so that all you have to do is listen along and do the work with me. And my clients fucking love it because they have that custom support that can help them move through things. And it's a win-win because then other people can watch it and get the results too, right? So I'm going to be doing one on and creating, like just listening into having such a powerful money manifesto that you can just listen to whenever you want to be elevated when it comes to money, right? So I do all of these different resources. So when you join, you have access to it and you're also able to embody these tools so you can use it without needing or relying on anyone else. You're able to do it in the moment. You're able to literally push play on a YouTube playlist and be walked through it in 10 minutes or less. So then you're not bypassing, you're not repre- you're not repressing, you're processing. So then you can respond from your power, respond from your desires, respond from your values. And that is incredible. And that is how we change because when we change our relationships around us change. So if you want to know more about that, if you're like, you know what, I would love to see the welcome video so I can get an idea of what's going on. Just go ahead and, and DM me, or you can comment below welcome video. And I would love to just send you over the link so you can check it out. If you have any questions and if you want to jump in before the price increases and the VIP, um, is now for everyone where everyone is going to get the hot seat coaching that's going away soon as well. So if you know, you want to do this, if you're like, you know what, I want a toolbox that I can use for the rest of my life every day in any situation that I'm in, that I'm triggered and be able to process through it in 10 minutes or less, or use the energy expansion tool and literally move your energy and step into the the vibration that you want within three minutes. This is what we do. And my clients have said the same thing as I have, that the more that we do it, the easier it gets. The things that used to trigger me in the past with friendships, with sister wounds from two of my friends getting closer than, than, than makes me feel comfortable because I don't want to feel left out because my core wound is I don't belong. I don't have that anymore. And I have evidence of it. That's how that's showing up in my life. And it's incredible because As we heal, we step into our power. As we heal, the things that used to hurt us anymore doesn't have that huge effect. And as we continue to do it, we continue to be the most healed, evolved, unapologetic version of us. And that's sexy as fuck. So if you want information on it, if you want to use it in your relationship or with your kids or with your confidence or in your business or dealing with anxiety, go ahead and send me a DM. And we'll just go back and forth on DM. I'll ask you some questions. I'll make sure I'll like, we'll get clear on what your goals are. And from there, I can make a recommendation to see if EA is a good fit for you, or if there's another program or another coach that can help you create your, so you can step into your next right step according to your vision, according to your desires of what you want in your life. I love you so much. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you have topics that you would like me to share, just go ahead and send me a DM and say, I would love to know about this. I would love to know about that because I'm here to create powerful context, um, content and context for you. And the million dollar marriage isn't just a one and done. It's not like, oh, I've achieved it. Okay, great. It's not like, oh, I've turned on the lights. Now we have light. 
is one of those consistent, conscious, intentional things that, that we can continue to do because we've got to invest in our relationship. You know, it's not just, you know, okay, we're together and that's done. It's an investment. We've got to nourish it. We've got to feed it. We've got to grow it. And the quickest way of getting what we want is doing our own work. I will see you next week. Bye. I'm almost gone. Bye. I'll see you next week.